What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> Today we have another sauce review, but it's not a hot sauce. It is from... Where's it at? It is just imported and distributed by Nando's Perry Perry in Washington, D.C. It's made in the Netherlands, born in South Africa, shared with love. You can find them at nandosperryperry.com slash sauces. It's really small, so I'm just going to put it up to the camera there, hopefully. Because it's really hard for me to read. That's kind of small. But anyway, I found this at Walmart for 4 bucks. This is Nando's Perinase Tangy and Spicy Mayo. A little pretty interesting. I also have a, another one, too, that I'll be reviewing down the road, but... Do this one here first. Uh, it says it is medium on their scale. It's right in the middle, but I highly doubt it's going to be that spicy. And uh, we'll get right into the ingredients. They are water, rapeseed oil, vinegar, well, distilled vinegar. Um, wait a minute, water? Yeah, let me restart. Water, rapeseed oil, and vinegar, which is distilled vinegar and cider vinegar. Sugar, cornstarch, salt, egg yolks, medium peri-peri sauce, which is vinegar, water, onion puree, salt, lemon puree, sunflower seed oil, spices, which is red hot, red chili pepper, African bird's eye chili, then there's green chili, garlic puree, xanthan gum, propylene glycol alginate derived from seaweed, antioxidants, which is ascorbic acid and rosemary extract, Spices, which are red chili pepper, paprika, mustard, white and black powder. Stabilizer, which is guar gum. Potassium sorbate is a preservative. Calcium disodium EDTA is an antioxidant. And it also contains eggs. Obviously, because it's a mayonnaise, it has egg yolks in it. So if you really want to read those ingredients, there they are. And we're going to get right into this. Seal off of this. Do the smell test. It smells like a mayonnaise to me. Maybe a little bit of the lemon. Not really any other. Just mayonnaise, a little bit of the lemon. Maybe the sugar, a little sweetness, but that said, we'll be using our Pepper Princess tasting spoon, and we'll squeeze some of this out. Hopefully, it don't go everywhere. All right, there we go. Yeah, it's just kind of like a sweetish, sweet, sweet, slightly sweet lemon mayonnaise smell. But there's what it looks like. And here we go from Nando's, their Perinase Tangy and Spicy Mayo. Cheers. Well, you do a little bit of the spice. More than I thought you would. It's up closer to the camera, huh? Tastes like a good quality mayo. Touch of lemon, a little bit of sweetness from the sugar, and then a little bit of that pepper kicks in. Nothing over the top. It's actually a really nice balance of uh, sweetness and spice and the mayo. I like it. Kind of a little bit of that egg yolk taste in there too. That's really good. I debate on paying four dollars for this, but I said we're going to give it a try. That's really good. Um, the heat. There's a hint, but I'm not even going to give it a one. It's definitely less than a one. 
Hey, you know what? I'll give it a one. I'll give it a one. Flavor, though. That's a 9 out of 10 right there. That is delicious. If you see this anywhere, probably find it on Amazon, I'm assuming. Probably be more than 4 bucks. But Nando's Paranese. Tangy and spicy mayo. Pretty good. Like I say, it has a medium. No. Nah. It's a 1 out of 10. But I give it a 9 out of 10 on flavor. That is really good. So there we go. Definitely give it a shot if you can find it. So, with that said, hope you enjoyed this review. See you next time.